Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Hallett, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about bipolar disorder. Now, the reason that I want to share this with you is that unlike what people may have thought, it's actually really common. Statistics indicate that almost 2.6% of adults in the United States of America have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and that's just people 18 and over. It's also something that can be diagnosed and found to be true and treated for children and adolescents. So it's not that it's that uncommon, but there's a lot of myths about bipolar disorder. One of those is that it's these rapid mood swings and that anytime someone is experiencing rapid mood swings, it's become pretty common for someone to say, oh, I'm afraid I'm bipolar. Listen, that's not what it's all about. And the most important thing I want you to know is that bipolar disorder is related to the brain and the body's functioning. You are not bipolar. You are a person with bipolar disorder. That's really important to keep in mind. So there are all sorts of different treatments that are helpful with, for people with bipolar disorder. Some of those certainly involve medication, but there's lots of things that you can do on your own. One of the most helpful things that I found and that I literally suggest to all of my clients is using the Think Up app. Why Think Up? Oh, because it really works. The way that you use Think Up is at a time when you're in a good place, when you're having a good day and you're feeling good about who you are, record affirmations. There's all sorts of different sample affirmations that are you can find on the ThinkUp app or on the website. And I've contributed some that I think might be really helpful for anyone who is living with bipolar disorder. You can also make up your own. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. And you can change them as well. So on a day that you're having a good day, record the affirmations. This is a way for you to remember how it is that you want to feel when things maybe are a little more challenging. This can absolutely make a difference and it really helps to begin to be more compassionate and caring to yourself, remembering that even when times are hard, things in fact can get better. So I strongly encourage you to use the affirmations, use the Think Up app, and my personal suggestion is that not only do you record the affirmations, but that you listen to them several times throughout the day. In fact, I think it's really helpful if you set an alarm or a reminder to re help yourself. <laughs> See, sometimes I just can't talk, right? Because just like you, <laughs> there are days that it just doesn't work. To remind yourself that this is something that's important for you to know. And in fact, hearing your own voice, particularly at a time when you're feeling good, helps your brain to acclimate to that information just a little bit better. I hope that this is helpful and feel free, get in touch with me or any of the other experts here on ThinkUp. Have a great day.